I was looking over my uh, journal entries for the past week since my last video and I was asking God to kind of guide me on what he wants me to touch on today and in my entries during this week I have mentioned a couple of times that I have been waking up sad that I feel discouraged stressed whatever it may be something that came to my mind is that no one is going to come and love you for you not even your family is is gonna do the job for you our actual biological families were a portal for our soul to come in to this planet just like Mary was you know the portal for Jesus to come into this planet our family was a portal for us to get here and contribute to the to the mass of souls and life force that there is on this planet um, we're just as humans and souls within carcasses of bodies um, our mission and our like desire is to bring heaven on earth through enlightenment and so the only way to do that my friends is to cultivate love within yourself and look at yourself and appreciate the beautiful soul that you are inside you aren't sick you know stop labeling you yourself stop because words are enchantments okay? whenever you say something you trap yourself within that box of whatever you just said if you say i'm poor you're gonna be poor if you say i'm sick you're gonna be sick if you say i'm loved you're gonna be loved and you're gonna see it all around you but even when you are in the valley of shadow and death, as the Bible says, when you're in your worst moment, when you're doubting yourself, when you just can't stand the pain of being alive, God is there. It's like a tunnel that you make yourself. You're in this tunnel and all you can see is the darkness in front of you and you know you're, you're you're desperate you're claustrophobic or whatever but god is always surrounding that tunnel like just waiting for you to let down the walls open your heart and let him in he is the light that we need he is the love that we need for us to love ourselves because yes i can preach to you about self-love and how you need to find all your values and skills and and learn to love yourself and you can do it you can do it but you won't be successful you won't be successful because you need a higher power you need a higher source and that is god or the universe whatever you want to decide on believing whatever okay the point is is that you cannot love yourself on your own you need god to love you first because he gives you that identity he created you for a special purpose and you can't ignore that if you ignore that and you try to love yourself it might work for one or two days but then you're gonna fall flat on your face you're gonna run out of energy you're gonna run out of power okay it's not gonna be real and then you know it shuts down for other people you can't even extend your arm out you can't even extend a helping hand to anybody because you yourself can't do it but when you connect with God when you connect with a higher power and you allow that love and radiance to enter your heart and your soul and your mind and all you ever think about is how to be better how to get closer to God it makes you a better person because not because of you not because of your own strength but because of God's strength because he works through you he makes himself manifest through you but it is up to you to consent to that you know that's why in most religions they ask you to verbalize consent because you need to do that god is not that god is not going to violate you okay he's a gentleman he will wait for you he will you know keep his eyes on you make sure that you're okay but he's not going to force himself onto you so um yeah you know he's always there and i think that makes god such an awesome loving god um the fact that even when we're stubborn and
and we choose to reject him and walk away, he's still there waiting for us. Like such a patient gentleman. And um, yeah, so I think that's most of the notes. That I, I wrote another one, but that's for another video. It's about betrayal. But um, basically, guys, what I'm trying to say is...
my best recording, but anyways, um, I hope you got the message.